Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to unlock every single achievement in Theme Park Tycoon 2. So as you can see, I've unlocked every single achievement, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to unlock every single one. So starting with getting a star rating of half a star all the way to five stars. I have a tutorial on this, two tutorials actually, on my YouTube channel if you want to go check it out. It'll be linked in the description, and as you can see, this is a five star money farm, and I have a video on how to make this exact money farm, and I'll link it down in the description. So if you get a star rating of half a star, you will unlock the steel coaster, the corkscrew coaster, and the steeplechase coaster. For getting a rating of at least two stars, you will unlock the inverted coaster, the inverted coaster, the second inverted coaster, and the flying coaster. If you get a rating of at least three stars, you will unlock the multi-launch coaster, the mu a second multi-launch coaster, first the phase turbine coaster, flawless coaster, main tra mine train coaster, and splash boats. For getting a rating <coughs> of four stars, you will unlock the suspended swing coaster, balloon ride, water coaster, launch spinning coaster, ro roto drop, and double swing. This is very self-explanatory. Basically, all you need to do is go into the train and you want to take it. Then you want to go into the auto and place some water down. Very simple. And if you want to get rid of the water, just remove the water. So there's a button right here you can use to remove the water. And then you can just edit this and bring it back. And after you complete the achievement Don't Drown, you unlock the log fume, flume, the second log flume, fume, and the river rapids. Next we have Addicted. Work on a park for at least five hours. And for working on and for unlocking the achievement Addicted, you will unlock a tree. Next we have fully expanded. For this, you'll need to buy every expansion that are purchasable within the game money. So you don't need to buy so basically, um, I spent Robux on this game, but so I've unlocked every single area. But if you're not like me and you don't have money to spend on this game, or you just don't want to, there will be like 12 plots back here that you just can't unlock without buying Robux. I think I'm not complete. I'm not 100% sure because I haven't played this game in forever. But um, I'm pretty sure that's how it is. And anyways, for completing that, you will. <coughs> You will unlock the wing coaster, the hydraulic launch coaster, hydraulic, the second hydraulic launch coaster, dive coaster, second dive coaster, and the single rail coaster. Next is public transport. We need to build a transport train with at least three stations. <coughs> so this is very simple, but I'll just give you an idea of how to build it. So as you can see, I have built a um, I have built a train, and it has three stations: one, two, three, and that's how you unlock that achievement. And for completing that achievement, <coughs> you will unlock both of the monorails. Next is teamwork. You need to build an item on someone else's park. Basically, how this works is you go into settings and you scroll down until you see until you see select the builder to add and then you can select any of the people in your server to add and then and then you can talk to them to this chat or whatever and then they can come to your park and build what, and delete whatever they want on your park but you can also remove their building rights by just going down to settings and you can just remove because it'll add another person here let's just add enderman now as we can see he is he and so enderman and me can both build on the same park but by clicking remove that removes his rights to build on this park and if someone does that to you you can just build 
I don't know, let's just say a tree or something on their park. And that's how you will unlock the achievement. And that's how you complete the achievement. And you will unlock a glass, two glass paths, and a Q path. That's also glass. Next is activated. Use a ride trigger to activate another item. So how you unlock activated. So basically, let's just go into props and get the TNT. And let's just place it right here. And be careful because once you can activate it and you'll go flying. Boing. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> so anyways, we're trying to get this roller coaster, or train, whatever you want to call it, to activate this TNT. So how are we going to do that? Just click on this, go to appearance, and then scroll down. So you're going to have to make sure the ride is closed to do this. Scroll down in appearance and then click on add triggers and now select what item so select the TNT and now whenever a train so let's just open this real quick whenever a train goes on this corner piece as you can see it exploded and that is how you complete the achievement activated and you will unlock the sequencer two buttons a timer path and a proximity sensor now, next is community approval. Get at least 10 likes on your park. I don't have much tips for getting this, besides maybe just go into like the Theme Park Tycoon 2 Discord server, or go into like a YouTuber's Discord server, and just like ask people if they want to like your park or something. Or just ask your friends if they want to like your park. And that's pretty much all the tips that I can give you for that one. And you will unlock the shiny thumbs up and the flying carpet. Next is welcome back again. Claim your daily bonus at least 10 times. So basically, there's a daily bonus right here. And every 24 hours you can claim it again. As you can see, I've claimed it 62 times. You only need to claim it 10 times. After that, after that you can complete the achievement. And you will unlock the slingshot. And then we have pro mode. Build an build and open a track ride primarily using the advanced editor. Basically what that means is so let's just go to a roller coaster. Let's just say the lob nose coaster. Let's just put it right there. Basically, most people will probably just use this editor, but if you look over here, there's an advanced editor. And you can basically just manipulate the pieces however you want. Let them go up, rotate, them go side to side. So I'll just build a coaster like this. And now we need to place the ride entrance and exit and open. And that is how you unlock the achievement. Pro mode. And you will unlock the spinning coaster. Next is stashed money. Get at least $100,000. Now, I've already made, and I've mentioned this in, earlier in this video, I've already made a how to unlock a five star money farm. And as you can see, I have $1.5 million. You do end up making a lot of money, and that is how you can easily unlock that achievement. <coughs> and for completing the achievement, you will unlock the motorcycle coaster three shiny paths and two Q paths that are shiny. And then a worthy park. Get a park value of at least $200,000. Basically what that means is you need to spend $200,000 on your park. Now if we just go over here real quick, we can see by clicking on this little eye, you can see how much money you spent. As you can see, my park value is $267,000. And it's not that hard, especially if you have a money farm like this that makes you a ton of money. And for completing the achievement, you will unlock <coughs> a, the launch free fall, hyper coaster, inverted coaster, flawless coaster, stand up coaster, wind coaster, firework, and three different types of fireworks. And now we have serious investment. Get a product value of at least $400,000. Now, as you can see, as you just saw, I only I didn't have that much money. Like I only had two hundred thousand dollars in this park, not four hundred thousand dollars. Now you may be wondering, why do I have the achievement if I don't have 
that much money spent on my park. Well, basically what I did was I built a park and I just spent a lot of money on it, but I didn't like the way it turned out, so I just deleted it. And again, if you have a money farm like this, it's very easy to do that. And you will unlock the hybrid coaster, the 4D coaster, and three more types of fireworks. And now we have spin to win. Build and run a spinning ride that can spin faster than 360 degrees. And this one is kind of tricky. Took me a while to get it. We're gonna need a lot of space. So I'm just gonna go over here real quick. Okay, this should be good. Now, what we need to do is go to the terrain and plus hit this press button, plus button. And now as you can see, we can just bring it all the way down. Bring it down as far as we can. There we go, now we just need to build like a giant square like that. Now keep in mind you will need a lot of money for this, so basically what you're going to want to do is go to the roller coasters and then get a, get the spinning coaster. Oh crap, I trapped myself, that's not good. Okay, so let's just start by building it right here. Now let's go, you don't need the advanced editor for this. Now let's just make sure it goes up with a chain lift, up as far as you can go. I've purchased the build height limit so I can go a lot higher, but that doesn't matter. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is go down and then and start going down. So place this piece right here. And then you want to go with this. Oh crap, I forgot to turn off chain lifts. So you want to start going down just a little bit. Then you want to use this piece right here. And again, I probably don't need this hole because I've built up so high. But again, if you don't have the pass, that is completely fine. And just keep building like this. And as you can see, we're sort of in the wall, but that is okay. Now we just gotta go back up and attach it to the rest of the roller coaster. And here we go. We. Now, as you can see, it's starting to spin a lot right here, and that's just because we went down really fast. Now, obviously, you probably aren't going to have as high, and you're probably not going to be able to go as high as I can. I know the first time I did this, it took me a while. Pretty sure it took me like three or four tries, and it was pretty annoying, but eventually I got it. And for completing this achievement, you will unlock the teleporter and next we have nice and tidy have no trash in the park with at least 100 guests <clears throat> this is very simple and easy to achieve all you need to do is when you're building your park make sure there are trash cans everywhere because bots litter a lot and especially if you have a big money form like this it's you get a lot of people in it and even if they do litter you can just click on the trash to clean it up uh, very s fairly sp self explanatory. I'm not, I don't know what other tips I can give you to do this. And next we have Mega Duck Invasion. Build at least 100 Mega Ducks close together. So, what you're going to want to do is just go into the search bar and then search duck. Now, take the Mega Duck and place one. And there we go, that's one. Now, well, let's just go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. There you go. That's 10. That's a tenth of how many ducks we need. Now I'll see you guys when I'm done placing all these, I guess. And done. There we go. All 100 ducks have been placed. So this is definitely going to cost a lot of money.
But like I said before, if you have a money farm, it's very easy. And for that, you will unlock the evil duck and the mega evil duck. Next is the big picture. So as you can see here, there are three question marks. So you probably have no idea how to unlock this. So basically all you need to do is go into scenery and then go into others and then scroll over until you see this image panel for 750 bucks or dollars or whatever you want to call it. And now we just place a nine by nine of these. There you go. And as you can see, we have just nine pictures right here. Now I need to select, select each individual one, each individual one, and just change the picture. And there we go. This is what it should look like. Just nine picture frames like this that all have a different picture on them. I don't think they have to be different pictures. I'm not sure. But they just all have to have a picture on them. And that is how you unlock the achievement, the big picture. And you will unlock, as you can see, a lot of things. A bunch of hanging flags, paths, a ceiling, and the rest are just image panels. Next is ex Explore the World with Swans. Now, um, this achievement is kind of annoying, especially if you've bought all of this land already. Basically, what you need to do is just... I'll go over to this person's park real quick, just to show you. So as you can see, they haven't bought any land, they just have the main land. Basically, you need to build a swan ride around, all the way around this. It's like on the very outside. And again, I'll show you an example, but it probably won't be the same as yours. And if you do it the same way, it might not work just because I've bought all the land before. So I might build it a little bigger or a little smaller than it's supposed to be. But I'll get, this is basically the main idea on how you're supposed to complete this unit. Now what I can do is go into water and place water right here. As you can see, it filled the entire square with water. Next, what you want to do is go into rides and go into water rides and get the swan ride. And just place it right here. I know I need one station and just keep going straight. And after, you should get the achievement. I'm not sure if you have to ride it or not. I don't think you have to ride it. But I know this is definitely not the exact same size. It's got to be a little bigger. Bigger than this. It's got to be the size of that. I don't think that's the size. I'm not sure. Anyways, for doing that, you will unlock the water alternator. Next is chained. And as you can see, this also has question marks. So you probably don't know how to do this. Basically, it's fairly simple. I had a lot of trouble with this one, actually, though. You will need to have the fireball. And let's just place a fireball right there. Then you need to place another fireball. So you're gonna, oops, you're gonna need to have four fireballs in total. And it's definitely a lot of money. There we go. <coughs> okay, so as you can see, I built four fireballs. All on top of each other. So this is how it's supposed to look. So basically how this works is you place a fireball, then you place this one <coughs> six above the ground. So basically, when you take this, you go one, two, three, four, five, six. Put that up air six times. And it'll say 12 meters, and that's what you're supposed to do. So the first one, and then the second one is 12 meters. The <clears throat> third one is 24 meters high, and the last one is 36 meters high. And that's how you unlock the achievement fireball, or that's how the, you unlock the achievement chained. And for unlocking that, and for completing that achievement, you will unlock just a bunch of light orbs. Next we have for the extreme children. 
Okay, so basically, you just want to build a hole. And after you have a hole like this, you want to go to the... I'm gonna go to height limit, and you want to get the roller coaster, the junior coaster. And you just want to see how high you can place it. There. Okay, there we go. So now we're super high. And I definitely... That's not a big enough hole. Just because of how close I put the coaster, but that's fine. Basically, you want to go down. So just go down but you want to spiral, so just go down one and then start spiraling down. Obviously you don't need to be this high, but just because I got the game pass, that's why I'm this high. Then you just want to keep going down. And then we're at this. Since I have disabled collisions, I can just go through this, but you're gonna have to make a little bit of a bigger hole. And then I'm, you just want to go back up, and there we go. Now it's done. And once you've done that, you just want to ride the ride. And uh, I put mine so far up that I don't think I'm going to do that. It's just going to be a pain in the to get up there. But anyways, that is how you unlock or complete the achievement for the Extreme Children. And you will unlock a cannon. Next up is Jailed. Basically, how you unlock Jailed is by deleting the path into your park that allows bots to go in and out of your park. Then you want to close your park. And by the way, you need at least 80 plus guests for this. If you don't have 80 or more, it won't work. And then you want to just start closing all your rides. And then eventually you will unlock the achievement. And for completing that achievement, you will unlock the jail wall and the jail doorway. The next achievement we have to unlock is decal, deca kill. Honestly, I do not know how to pronounce that. Anyways, let's just delete this real quick. I don't really need this anymore. So basically, we just want to get a well, we're going to need a lot more space on this, actually. Let's just go over here. It's what you're going to need is go into the... Get the junior coaster. And then let's just place it right here. And let's just build a couple of stations. It doesn't really matter. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is... Or five is good. Whatever. And then you just want to build... It doesn't matter how long fairly long. Then you want to turn it and go back. There we go. This is probably a lot longer than I needed it to be, but that's fine. Now we just want to build the same manner of um, train as you had there. And then you want to build like I should say three more. It doesn't really matter. Then you've got to edit this and you want to set the physics mode to legacy and the uh, want and you also want to lower the price and you also want to max out the train lines then let's build the entrance have it open. Now what we need to do is build a long hue path. That's probably long enough. Okay. Since I have so many rides, I'm just going to have to build it. I'm just going to have to go over. Obviously, you probably won't have to do this, but I've just sort of blocked off this area, so I'm gonna have to do this, but you probably won't have to. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Just make sure that when you're, if you're still building a Q path, make sure this is closed. 
Because if it's open, it's just going to start going. And you don't want that. I don't know how to stop it, but uh, that is not good. <laughs> Whatever. Um, it's fine. Just make sure it's closed when you're working on it. Okay, now I think we should be good. There we go. Q path's probably long enough. And now, after we have the Q path, we just want to close every single ride in the park. But since I have so many rides that I don't really feel like closing, I'm just gonna block this area off so they have no choice but to go in the Q path. Well, this probably isn't going to work, but basically what you want to happen is there'll be like 10 or so guests here. I'm pretty sure you need 10 guests. And then they all go on the train once it gets right here. And then it starts up again because it's the second station. It stops and waits for the passengers. And then it goes and it explodes and it kills those 10 passengers. And that is how you unlock the achievements. Um, I can't really show you just because I have way too many things here. Like rides to close them all. And I don't really have like another part that I have money on or anything so I can't really show you how to do it but um, hopefully you can still you're still able to do it and the last achievement is to the moon so for this one you're gonna need a lot of space <laughs> I've used up most of the space already okay let's just go you'll need the um, you'll need the multi launch coaster Oops. And then let's just place it right here. Let's place. Doesn't really matter. And then you just want to go. You want boosters, and you want to go as fast as you can. Then let's just turn. And keep going really fast. And again, it's gonna cost a lot of money, but it's okay. And then you wanna go straight up. And that's good. Now you might need more boosters, but that is it so far. And now for the entrance, that's it. Oops, now let's just open this up. There we go. Now we're getting ready to ride this ride. You can see we're going really fast. And then... Boom! And we got sent. Back into the freaking hole. Bruh. Anyways, that is how you unlock the achievement. Again, you probably... It's prop. You might need more boosters than I use or something, but that's okay. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this video helpful. If you have any problems with some of the achievements, because again, I wasn't able to show you all of them because I don't have a second account or anything, or an extra email to use on the second account, and uh, I just decided to do it on here again. Probably isn't the best video I've ever made, especially since I've already gotten all the achievements. So it's not technically showing you exactly how to get them. But I do hope you guys enjoyed. I did hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video.